You remember the first time you, you were with me? What happened? You puke. You puke? I got a picture of you laying down over there. I think he's ready to take a plane back to Aruba. <laughs> <laughs> my goal is to get to the big leagues, help my family. In 10 years, Josander will be playing the All-Star. He reminds me a little bit of Derek Jeter, the leadership he brings in the field and outside of the field as well. Everybody pay attention to that, coaches, scouts. He's a great shortstop. He has the good hands for being a shortstop, runs fast. Tall, hits good. The way he plays the game, he just way different. You know when he's around, you know, and you can feel that, that good vibe that he has. My name is Alexander Benitez, and I play baseball. Josander being with us for almost a year now. What makes Josander special is the natural skill he got. He kind of be a shortstop in the big league. Great arm, great speed. Hitting ability is great too as well, and he's fast. And, and that's just a combination hard to find in, in a baseball player. Alexander, he's that kid that every coach is gonna love. You know, that he's that kid that every team is gonna want him to be there. You know, because he's just like the spark of the whole crew. We come to the facility at like nine. We do the workout. After that, drone program. Then the defense, and then we hit and then go home, eat, do your school, then come back in the afternoon and just, yeah, repeat that. His hands are really quick, so he always have the tendency to watch, watch the ball and go here. Sometimes guys just roll over pitches, I'm hitting ground balls to third base, so this gives direction where the ball is going. Coming from here, throwing the nap to the ball, and then just go. When you hit a solid contact, it's so satisfying watching the ball go run the bases. So here, his problem that this his top breaks, it goes here around it. I want him to focus on is here. This goes and come here. When he came here, he's gonna laugh at this. <laughs> he couldn't hit the ball out of the infield. When I first saw him, I said, hey, what are we gonna do here? But he just got so much better every day. You know, he comes from a great family and he have to listen <laughs> because if not, we got that guy over there behind him who say that we'll get after him. The same way I train him is the same way I train my big leaguer. So nothing different. I just go make sure I take care of every part of the body the right way. One more. No. The first day was leg day. Fortuna basically killed me. Like the workout was intense. I wasn't used to it. Like that. Two set of 10 each arm, all right? So here. <sighs> See how I use my lower half to explode together with my upper body? So I want you right here and then all together. Boom. All right? Benitez, when he came, he was sitting at 130 pounds. And the first thing everybody was saying, if, if this kid gained 30 pounds, he's, he's gonna be the man. So we, we had like a lot of heavy stuff with him. But at the same time, as a baseball player, you gotta make sure you do a balance with your agility, your explosive workout. So it was a combination of, of, of full stuff. My best friend is Dijon. So Dijon came to Fortuna first. After one year later, he told me, I should come, he recommended to me. I was in Aruba Baseball Academy for like a year, two years, and then Alexander came to the academy too. We started talking more and more, we started clicking more, practice with each other every day. I talked to Fortuna and the trainers around me, I'm like, you look look at this guy, what do y'all think about him? So, and they liked him, so there was a day me and Fortuna went to Aruba. We went to his house so they can talk about everything. So then I talked to my parents and then I came, and since then I love it, it's good. Fortuna pushes me a lot. He's a great athlete, great athlete. And, and his size for a shortstop is really good. 6'1", um, 160 pounds. When he get to the age that he needs to be to go play pro ball, he's gonna be probably 180 and 6'2 guy, so he's gonna be perfect. Every time you go up, everything go up together. Your hips, it's, and make sure you pull up, so it's right here. Pump, easy bag, quick up, all right? 
explosion. In baseball, you, you use your hips a lot. So you, every time you're gonna hit, you gotta explode this right here, right? So I create this movement right here. So you're working on your chest, and the same way, you're working on your hips right there. Come on, babe. Come on. Hold it. Good. Come on. Hold it. Perfect. Out of boy. Come on. Good. Out of boy. Good job, baby. Hate me now, love me later, baby. All right? When you make all your millions, you're going to love me. <laughs> He's like basically my second dad. I see him as my second dad. When I was that age, I have a coach and he put me to stuff. And that's one of the reasons why I'm here right now. So I want to do the same thing with these kids. Just I want to make sure they're better every day. And, and not just in baseball, because baseball is little. You will not play baseball forever. But you're going to have to have a life after you retire. The biggest challenge was mental health because away from your family, some bad days. The son had a lot of bad days with me, so I really kept his head up and tried to convince him a lot of motivational. Don't listen to what any hater or some people tell him to do. Just keep working hard and try to reach his goals. You just got to go with the mentality like tomorrow's another day. You can't get stuck in yesterday. I was there helping a lot. He talked with us every Monday. When you go to a hard, hardcore training session, when, when a guy doesn't to push you to the limit, that's when you really know if you really want. When you gotta wake up at five in the morning, tired, your legs are like, you can't even walk, and you, and you get up and you go do it. That's, that takes some discipline. They're 14, 15 years old. They can be just playing video games the whole day, and they don't have a chance to play video games. They come here in the morning, train. In the afternoon, they go do homework, and then at night time, they come back to train. So it's. It's a hard life, but I, I believe they're going to have a beautiful life moving on because of the discipline they're getting out of this. He really works hard for it, and I feel like in 10 years he can be in the big leagues too. No days off means to me, working until you puke, no rest days, none of that. Thanks to everybody to watch my video. To check out more stories like mine, make sure to like and subscribe.